I hated your being alone when it happened. I pretended to myself that you were with me. It gave me strength. But if we don't have the funeral sooner, I'm afraid I, I'm going to break down. Reverend, we can start now. I'll tell the others. There'll be no more trouble. Now John's here. Meg, you'll come to our house this evening. You'll be with us, won't you? Thank you. <coughs> no, no, those aren't my after-dinner pills. These are for my spleen. Let me look again. I'll find them in a minute. And bring your glass of tepid water. Yes, Mr. Poster. Shall we, shall we go into the parlor? No, Jenny, leave them alone. You know how young folks are. John has to go back to the camp in the morning. Go back? Yes, of course. Tommy. Our lovebirds have closed the door. The pills, Mr. Poster, and the tepid water. Thank you. Huh? Why must you send him back, when he's the only man who can keep order? Because I need him up at the camp. He's a woods boss, not a policeman. Of course, if your business means more to you than the safety of your home and family. Jenny, he's got to get that timber cut. That's all there's to it. I'm sorry we were so long, Jenny. I thought you and Mr. Poster would come in. I wanted you to be alone. Surely you can stay in Bangor a few days. <laughs> I'd like to. She needs you. Well, I'm afraid I'll have to be away for a little while. She won't be alone. I'll take care of her. Till you come back. Well, thank you. That's very good of you. Now, I don't want your father to trade these for whiskey. They're for you and your sisters. Mother said to say thank you and God bless you. I think you ought to go around to the kitchen and thank Mrs. Hollis. After all, she feeds the chicken. And there's room in the basket for a slice of pie. Would you like a ride in my carriage, Jacob? I can drop you off on the way home. As soon as I get the pie. <laughs> Isn't it a beautiful morning? Jenny, I've been wanting to speak to you. You have? What about? Well, not here. Let's walk down to the river. Oh, but not now, Ephraim. I have so many things to do. Jenny, why isn't it possible for me to have a minute alone with you? But we're alone now. It's not my idea of privacy. Mrs. Hollis in the kitchen, father home every day, Meg following you about. I'm sorry. That's a very short answer, Jenny. What is it? Have you seen somebody else? It's stole nearly 10,000 feet of first-run pine. Where? Up for Big Ben. And there's not a trace of who did it. Mr. Poster, unless you get the law to step in, there won't be a choice tree left in that whole section. Law. I own that land and I'll make my own laws. I've got to make a trip up to the hill country. Timber pirates. I want you to come with me. Me? It's time you saw what pine on the stump looks like. It's my business and you ought to learn it. Come along, I'll get you something to eat. Thank you, sir. Jenny, are you? What are you waiting for? Thank you. 
can't see why he insists on my going. I'll be dead useless weight. And afraid of the water besides. Boats would be bad enough. These would be canoes, flimsy Inuit canoes made of birch bark. Jenny, I can't admit to him that I'm frightened. Tell him not to take me along or not to go at all. I told him I wasn't cut out for that sort of life, that I'd be more of a burden than a help. But he's so stubborn, Jenny. How long must he live, Ephraim? <laughs> How long must he live between us? Jenny, don't talk like that. I want you to do something for us. But you're afraid. I could promise you so many things. And yet, you're afraid. He's my father. As long as he's alive. Why does everything frighten you? You're going to make me very angry. And if I get angry and go on wanting you the way I do, I might tell him what happened between us. Nothing has happened between us. No. But which of us will he believe? Jenny, you couldn't. You know what that would do. He lived a full and useful life. It would be a pity to see him die. But a greater pity to see his life ruined. With a lie. We've been living a lie, Ephraim. And I want to be done with it. I want you to return alone. Mm -hmm.